Now, Neo today opened trading up seven uh, percent, which made it to open trading around fifteen dollars and seventeen cent, which is something that to get to see Neo trading this high today. I mean, for the past three days and all the past three sessions, uh, this Neo stock has been uh, closing on a positive, which is something that is showing some good recovery on these uh, Chinese stocks, including NEO. Now, now, one of the main things that we are seeing the Chinese stocks to be specific recovering is because the COVID cases uh, in China has been decreasing, which is a very good thing uh, of bringing some good gains in the markets. Because you remember that uh, a few weeks ago, we saw that China was really struggling with high COVID cases all over. It. So to get to see that they, they are seeing uh, some significant significant decrease in COVID cases. It is one of the things that is making the markets uh, or, or the Chinese stocks to recover, which is something that must just show you that we might probably see these uh, uh, gains for some time. The more we are getting to see cities in China or around China reporting zero COVID cases is the more we are going to see the markets liking that and of course the uh, Chinese stocks are surging in terms of the share price. So this is one of the things uh, that those of you, of course, that bought uh, this uh, neo stock or trading below thirteen dollars, uh, you are definitely going to really like the gains that they are seeing. Because as I said, when Neo was trading around those levels, it was an opportunity for you to load the boat. See, these headwinds that surround the Chinese stock or most of the Chinese stocks uh, are not to make you to be scared to invest in Chinese stocks. In fact, uh, you should take these uh, low trading prices uh, as an opportunity for you to load the boat onto these Chinese stocks because you know that COVID outbreaks in China are not the only headwinds that are in Chinese stocks. So they are other things like delisting fears, which are there, though I have shared so many times with you to say that the Chinese stocks are not going anywhere. They will continue or they will remain listed in the New York Stock Exchange is one of the things that, of course, has had uh, these uh, Chinese stocks. Now, of course, these uh, COVID outbreaks, you remember that a few weeks ago, resulted in many companies, including New York, to suspend their production, which is something that, of course, had a huge impact on the April delivery numbers. Now, of course, for the month of May, we might still expect Neo or Neo can still report lower delivery numbers but i personally think that they will be much better from the deliveries they reported in april due to these uh, covid outbreaks which of course resulted in the suppliers or those suppliers that supply ev companies or ev stocks like neo of course also pausing or halting their supplies which resulted in neo also being forced to also suspend their production their deliveries as you know that some of the cities in china were under hard lockdown which of course meant that neo could not deliver any cars neo could not of course also produce any cars due to the material or due to the companies that supply them with material not producing the material so getting to know or getting to see that uh, covid cases uh, are decreasing in china or seriously decreasing is one of the things uh, that must just show you that it's good which is why we're seeing in the stocks or like neo recovering in terms of the share price so i think that even with the other headwinds like your delisting fears we are definitely going to get those or we're going to see them going out of the way because you remember that uh, if there's one thing that i really know like i said is that my gut feeling tells me that the, the, these stocks are not going anywhere because i think if america or if the american regulators uh, conclude to delist these chinese stocks that is going to bring a lot of chaos even to america itself which is one thing that of course must just make you not to panic when you see some of the articles saying that neo has been uh, uh, listed under the provisional list of companies to be delisted you don't have to panic until the fed lady sings until we get the positive feedbacks from both the us and the chinese regulators so we read that the 16th district in china report zero COVID cases on the social side which is something that must just show you that yeah these COVID outbreaks that which were seriously harming the Chinese economy 
might be finally coming to an end though i know that on monday of course there were new covid cases which were reported now of course one of the things or another thing that of course you know by now that it is the one that is making the news dr sage it is the bank of america reiteration of a buy rating onto this new stock and a price target of 26 dollars per stock this is one of the things that we are seeing or we saw yesterday which made not only the new york stock exchange or neo which is listed in the new york stock exchange recover but we also see it recover on the Hong Kong stock exchanges, you know that in Hong Kong, near today, close trading or up uh, 10%, over 10%, which is something that must just show you that it is a, a good thing to see these big financial institutions coming in and giving uh, the Chinese stocks a buy rating with some good price target because this $26 uh, uh, dollars per stock looking on when you're currently trading at, it's a good opportunity for you to load the boat though my average purchase share price those of you that follow me on twitter you know that it is around 28 which of course uh, before the day ends today i will make sure that it is below 27 dollars per stock i personally believe that these chinese stocks uh, will do very well uh, in the months ahead especially if the chinese regulators or both chinese and u.s regulators can come and confirm that the chinese stocks or those stocks which are listed in the chinese stocks which are listed in the new york stock exchange are not going to be delisted we are definitely going to see a huge recovery in most of these chinese stocks otherwise with all that i just thought i should give you a quick video about why the neon stock is trading this high today otherwise if you enjoy the content please do make sure that you hit that like button comment and subscribe and you already know that this video was just an entertainment video and you should not take it as a professional financial advice i'm not saying go and buy neo but i'm just saying be aware of neo and what they are doing and if you really like what you're seeing then it is of course your choice uh, to load the boat onto this stock or not otherwise with all that that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey God bless you all.